Hey Retro Fitness fam, my name's Danielle. My name's Alexis. And we're from Retro Fitness of Kenville, New Jersey. Today, we're gonna teach you how to put together a great workout. We're gonna start with a warm up, some core work, and then we're gonna put together two circuits of three moves each. One move for upper body, one move for lower body, and one move for cardio training. Then we're gonna finish you off with a good cool down. It's gonna take 30 minutes, so make sure you got some space, make sure you got some water, grab a workout partner, and let's get started. All right, so for your warm up today, go ahead and start with those feet nice and wide. We're gonna push our hips back, sit down into a squat. Put those hands right on top of the thigh. Feel that stretch in the glutes. Now lean forward and feel the stretch in the back of the legs. All right, now a little quicker. Squat, hamstring stretch. Squat, hamstring. So right away, we start to get some tension in those legs. Next stretch, hip flexor. Lean, one side, switch. Again, hips are back. Sitting down into that hip, pushing the knee out to the corner. Now can you reach for the floor? Good. Core braced, chest up. All right, bring those feet together. Roll out one hip, step, step, other hip. There you go. Nice little rotation. And here we start to feel those lower abs activate as well. Nice work, team. One more. All right, now on to that torso stretch. So feet apart, bend your arms, twist, twist. One, two. Good. Feel that rotation through the waist. Now start to reach one arm out. Reach, reset. One, two. Good, go at your own pace. All right, now we're gonna hold still and circle those arms. Big circles forward. That's it, roll it out all through the shoulder. Now switch, roll it back. All right, now what do you say? We get that heart rate up and start to get a little warm. Nice, easy jog on the spot. Now gradually, knees come up. High knee run. Good. Now, drop the thighs and kick your butt. Heels up, heels up. Check it, you can put your hands behind and aim to kick that hand every time. Good. Now lean forward and sprint. So on your toes, we're getting those calves nice and warm. Now can you take it laterally? Sprint, hold, sprint, hold. Once you hold, good. Start to feel that body getting warm. Now what do you say we warm up like the boxers do? Grab your jump rope, two feet, turn your rope. That's it, land knees soft. Now let's put those feet, one, two, one, two. All right. I have one more move for you. Are you ready? Throw your rope, jumping jacks. Your own speed, your own pace. To the end, to the end. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. All right guys, up next we're gonna hit the core. So come on down to your backs, fingertips to your temples. Bring your shins right parallel to the ground, and we're gonna do 30 reps of each move. Start with the bicycle. We go right, left, three, four, five. Point the toes, drop them down to 45 degrees. Modification, tap the toes down on the ground. Keep the chin tucked. Keep the elbows wide. Next move, you're gonna bring the legs straight up, Reach for the toes. We go 30, 29, 28, 27. So just bring your shoulders up off the ground. Keep the chin tucked. Another modification, of course, you keep the legs down and you can just reach and pulse the crunch. Great move right here for the abdominals. Reaching up through the center. 
you got that. Bring it in. We're gonna go for a crunch and extend the legs. Crunch, extend the legs. So bring the arms overhead. Bring the knees in. Option at any time, you can bring the knees in and then touch the toes down. Go for the level that you can allow your lower back to stay down on the ground. Inhale and exhale. All right, a few more here. Next move coming up, we're gonna scissor kick the legs. So extend them out and then just go one, two, one, two. Now this can be at your own pace, if you wanna go a little bit faster, if you wanna go a little bit slower. Just do whatever feels right for you. All right, we got one more move to work the core. Flip on over, bring the forearms under the shoulders, pop up to the toes. We're just gonna step out, in, out, in. So try and keep the hips down, pull the elbows back, squeeze the glutes, and pull the heels directly behind you. Keep the spine nice and long. Exhale, exhale. Good job, everyone, keep it up. All right, once you got 30, we're gonna go back to the top. So when you're ready onto your back, we go back to the bicycle, one and two. One and two. Now you just wanna choose the level that suits you. Should be feeling a little bit of a burn through the obliques. Rotating from the center of the chest. Try and leave it your shoulders a little bit instead of the elbows. Once you got that, legs up, reach. Try and get one more vertebrae off the ground this time. All the way up, all the way up. Crunch and extend. We go in, extend, in, extend. Now draw your knees in right over the belly button. Keep the shins parallel to the floor. You got a few more here. Getting the core nice and hot for the workout. All right, once you got that, flip on over. Onto your hover. Now, if you need to, you can stay down on the knees and you can just extend one leg side to side. Because by now it should be pretty hard to keep your hips squared to the ground. All about the core control right here. And get as many as you can and then go through the set all right guys now that we're feeling nice and warm we got those cores fired up we're going to get into the real work so to build our circuits today we have me and alexis put our favorite upper body lower body and cardio moves into three bowls we're going to pick one move from each bowl each move will be done for 30 seconds before transitioning into the next move once you get through that full minute and a half of three moves non-stop we're going to give you 30 seconds of rest before you get into the next set same circuit every circuit will be done three times so for our first circuit today alexis we're going to do the honors of picking our first lower body lateral squat jump lateral squat jump why don't you go ahead and show them how to properly do that lateral squat jump so drop down use the arms chest up two feet take off two foot landing modification just go for a single squat. Awesome. Thanks, Alexis. All right, so we're going to get into our second move of the circuit. This one's going to be for your cardio conditioning. We've got the tuck jump butt kick. So tuck jump, 
start standing straight up, knees soft. You're gonna bring those knees up into your midsection. Land, toe ball heel, knees soft. Second move, butt kick. Just like we did in the warm up, heels are gonna come up just to touch your butt. We're gonna put those two moves together. So, tuck jump, butt kick, tuck jump, butt kick. If this ever gets to be too much, you can go ahead and take it down. Single squat, hamstring curl. Single squat, hamstring curl. All right, final move of our circuit. We've got upper body. All right, so we're gonna throw in a little boxing combo. A little jab, uppercut, hook combination. So you're just gonna bring one foot forward. We're gonna go jab, upper, and hook. Going right, left, and right. Once you get through 15 seconds on one side, we'll switch and do 15 seconds on the other side. So those are your three moves. Again, we've got the lateral squat jump. We've got the tuck jump butt kick. And we've got the boxing combo, jab, upper, hook. 30 seconds on the clock, non-stop. That's how you get your recovery. Good to go? All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Land soft in the knees. Use the arms, brace the abs and then try to keep the chest lifted. At any time, guys, you can just drop into a single squat right here. Just make sure you're pushing the knees out, dropping the butt just above your knee line. All right, Danielle, next move. All right, legs warm on the cardio. Tuck jump, butt kick. Tuck jump, butt kick. So remember, on the tuck jump, knees come in to meet your chest. Chest doesn't come down to meet your knees. Check out Alexis here. She's got your tuck jump, butt kick. One, two, one, two. You got 10 seconds left, guys, come on. You can do it. All right, time. Right foot forward, hands up, jab, upper hook. One, two, and three. Nose, under chin, side of the face. Elbows tucked, chin tucked. Bend into the knees, turn the waist. One more time, quick switch. Jab, up, hook. Left, right, left. Heating up through the arms, the shoulders, upper back. Feeling good. Oh yeah. One more time. Hold. All right guys, set number two. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time you got a little bit of recovery, and now we're gonna really go for power in this one. So if you were staying on the single squat, Try and get a couple of jumps side to side. Ready? Three, two, one. one. Let's go. Using your arms, guys, is gonna give you the momentum you need to move side to side. Push out through the ground and through the sides of the feet as you move. The more you push through the knees and the side of the feet, you're gonna feel it in the side glutes, quads, all down the legs. Uh, I don't know about you, my legs are burning. Are we ready for move number two? Oh yeah. Tuck jump, butt kick. And go. Tuck jump, butt kick. Try to minimize your time in between or take it down. One move, one move. Tuck jump, butt kick. If you need, go with Alexis with the modification or come up. Three seconds. Right foot forward, boxing combo, jab, up, hook. Now that we know what we're doing, relax the shoulders, squeeze your fist, and go for a little more power. Breathe through it. Last one, switch. Picture yourself in the boxing ring. I'm your coach today. Hit one, two, three, up and under. Release the heel on that hook. One more time, hold. Recover, recover. How you feeling? Whew. How you feeling? <laughs> you got one more set, same moves. Lateral, squat jump, tuck jump, butt kick, boxing combination. Take another 15 seconds. Just breathe. Think about what option you're gonna go with. Are you gonna go with speed? Are you gonna go with depth? You pick. Or are you gonna go for reps? How many can you get? Ready? Sit down and go. 
Now important about the squat jump. It's a two foot takeoff and a two foot landing. So you wanna minimize the one, two. Just try and move together. Good. Now can you sink a little bit lower and spring up a little bit higher? And if you're like us, you'll probably think about that next move, right? I know I am. Moving on. Tuck jump, butt kick. Tuck your knees, kick your butt. Remember, soft on the landing. Focus on precision. Focus on pushing. You're already halfway through. Last 15 seconds, go! Option if you need. Squat, hamstring curl. You All can right, do guys. It. Last 30. Break foot forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I got a little challenge for you. Can you go for speed? Switch. Big turn. Right through the shoulder. Finish big. Love that circuit training. All right, guys, awesome job with that first circuit. We're moving on to our second circuit. Your move for your upper body. Check it out. It's a push up, shoulder tap. So on your toes or on your knees, push up, tap, opposite shoulder with hands. Alexis, what do we got for the lower body? Second move, 30 seconds, switch lunges, okay? So you're gonna try and stay low in the legs. Option is to just step back and lunge at any time. All right, the third move, which is our cardio kicker for our second circuit, is going to be the squat and reach. So the goal is to come up on your toes, bring your heels together, feet wide, knees out, and you're alternating hand that reaches down. Ready to go? All right, let's do On it. the ground. Push up position, knees or toes. On your marks, get set, 30 seconds. Push up, tap, push up, tap. Push those hands into the floor, dropping the chest right down the middle, keeping shoulders square to the ground. As you lower, and lift. Feel that burn in the chest, in the back, in the shoulders. Keep them coming. Abs brace. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, get ready to hop up. Next move, switch lunges. We drop, switch, drop, switch. Any leg, any timing, start to use the arms. Push down through the heels of your feet. Good, keep the chest up, keep the hips square. Remember, at any time, you can just step and in, step and in. Just make sure you're getting that nice, low, and long step back on your lunges. Breathing heavy. Five, four, three, two, split the legs. Reach down, squat. So once again, chest stays up butt gets low. Option, no jump, no problem. Step out, step out. Reach down, hips back. Any timing. And three, two, one, hold. You made it. 30 second break, 30 second recovery. Walk it out. Catch your breath. We're gonna hit the same circuit, starting with the push-up, shoulder tap. Once you're feeling good, once you're feeling heart rate come down, meet us on the floor. All right, abs brace. Shoulders over the hands, knees or toes. Let's go. Push down, tap. Now if the push-up is not for you, and you're still working on getting that technique, go ahead and walk those knees under the hips, legs to 90, just push up here. Option is to add that shoulder tap, or if you're feeling good, go the legs on your toes. Push up, tap. Body lowers and lifts as one. All right guys, get ready to hop up. Right into those switch lunges. One, two, one, two. Try and stay as low as you can in the legs. If you need to come up a little bit, that's cool. Just keep the knees bent. You're aiming 
So you got your front thigh parallel to the floor. That means you're gonna drive the back knee down. Moving the arms, pushing the heart rate up. All right, last move, split squat. Reach down. That's it. As you push those hips back, you're gonna feel the weight shift into the heels. That's where I need you. Glutes oh, on your fire. Legs yet. Oh yeah. Just breathe. If that reaches too much, keep the hands up. And three, two, one. Recover. Ooh. All right, you made it. Last set. Nice and recovered. Good to go. Back on the floor. What do you say? Rep challenge. Rep, rep challenge. challenge. All right. How many reps can you get? Can you get more than Alexis? Can I get more than Alexis? Let's go. Push up position. Knees or toes. On my mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Now, even though we're counting the reps, remember, it's about making the reps count. Getting that depth, getting that quick tap. Are you opening up your shoulders, Alexis? Oh. <laughs> abs tight, abs tight, breathe. Upper body pumped up. Uh. All right, guys, get ready to hop up. Back to the lunges. One, two, one, two. How low can you go? and how low can you stay? Lunges, especially jumping, is the best move to reshape the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings. Good strengthening for a body combat workout, right? I'd say so. Push the heels down. Stay close to the ground. All right, longest 30 seconds of your life starts right now. Squat, split. Can you be faster? Can you get lower? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Just breathe. Who says you need weights to train? Butt down. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. You should be feeling the heart rate pumped up. A little bit of sweat and you just smash some hip training. We're gonna finish with a nice long stretch and cool down, most important part of your workout. Everybody come on down. Let's start with a child's pose. Push your knees out wide, reach your arms nice and long, sitting the hips back to the heels, taking a couple of big, big deep breaths. Fill the lungs to the bottom. On your next exhale, reach your arms a little longer. Pushing your hips back and your knees out a little bit further. When you're ready, gently start to walk your hands back in. Bring your right knee forward. Keep both the legs bent. And then once you got your hips square, come on down, see if you feel the stretch down the side glute. All those lunges and squats. All right, on your next inhale, bring the chest up, bring the other leg around, onto the other side, evening out your legs. Inhale, exhale, come on down, right to where it feels good. This workout is all about you. All right, everybody, big inhale. Step your right leg forward into a hip flexor stretch. Pushing your knees out, sink down. Inhale, bring both your arms up. Exhale, shoulders down. Take a little twist over to the right side. Sink, look over your back shoulder. Go ahead and release the twist. Hit the other side. Left leg, knee out, chest up. Exhale, take a little turn to the left. Nicely done, everybody. Come on up to your feet when you're ready. Go for a little forward fold. Stretch down the back of the legs, either touching the ground or the shins. 
slowly, slowly start to roll your body up one little bit at a time. Big quad stretch. So heels to the butt. Try and keep your knees close together. Lift your chest up. And switch. Get your balance right. Soft, soft knees. Try to look at something not moving. All right, release the legs. Bring your right arm across. Big, big shoulder stretch. All those push-ups. Oh yeah. All those punches. All the punches. Well, bring your elbow up. Give it a big tricep pull. Feels good to get your body moving outside and switch. Big release through the arm. Inhale, elbow comes up. Reach down the back of the neck. Big release down the back of the arm. All right, open up through the chest. Bring the arms nice and wide. Big, big upper body stretch. And just training your body for even 30 minutes a day. Bring the hands behind, pull back. It's gonna give you awesome training benefits, pushing your heart rate, burning calories hours after your workout. If there's anything else you feel really needs to stretch, you can shake it out, you could twist side to side. If you need to get a little deeper into the inner thighs, you can sink down just like we did in the warm up, pushing the hips to the back and switching in your own time. So heart rate should be down. Take a full body stretch to finish, intertwine the fingers, turn the palms up. Nice, nice long body stretch. If it feels good, you feel a little bit side to side. Great work guys, you should be proud of you just did. Make sure you have some protein, make sure you drink some water, take a rest, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for coming. See you guys soon.